Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over the last couple of days, I've been letting you know that in the stable version of Microsoft Edge, that Microsoft using a controlled rollout is bringing back the global media controls, which is a toolbar button upon clicking display a fly out with a list of all currently playing media sessions in the browser and playback controls. Now I'll leave two videos I've posted on this um, over the last couple of days linked, uh, one regarding the feature and one if you want to disable the feature, there is a way, a workaround for that. But when I've posted previously, the global media controls were looking very material U and almost exactly the same as Google Chrome's. But I did notice today that although the global media controls are still available, They've now taken on the more legacy look. They've taken on a more legacy look, which was the previous look and feel before Microsoft introduced this new look. So at this stage, I'm still asking the question, are they back? And I'm not holding my breath because it seems that Microsoft cannot settle for what they are wanting with the global media controls because as I've mentioned it's only available in Microsoft Edge stable on my Windows 10 device and not my Windows 11 and I have seen the comments where a lot of viewers of the channel are saying they haven't got it some have some haven't so it seems that Microsoft cannot really make up their mind what they want to do with this global media control although I do see that it is a feature that is currently in Edge 138 beta which is the version just before it makes its way to stable. So I think we will know with Edge 138 if this becomes a so-called default feature because at this stage though, it's still in beta. So it means that if you have it in the stable version, Microsoft is A-B testing this feature. That's why I think they are chopping and changing the look and feel because a day or so ago it looked like that and today it looks like this. So. I think Microsoft is A-B testing this and they are trying both looks with a limited subset of users before it gets pushed out with the next stable release. But just keeping you guys posted because I have found this is a feature you either like or you don't. And if you don't, go check the video out on how to disable it. It will be linked. And if I get any more info or I notice anything that's changed, I'll let you guys know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.